Hi, this is James Herbert, Service Manager for New Way Trucks. Here we will show you a quick and easy method for installing a Rotopack auger. Please follow all proper lockout and tagout procedures during repair or whenever they apply. This video is made with the cooperation of Genove, New Way's trusted partner with the Rotopack. Before starting, properly secure the tailgate. Okay, let's get started. You will need a forklift and some fork extensions. We want to suspend the auger from these extensions. Secure the auger to the fork extensions with two chains, one in the front of the auger and one towards the rear. Now here is the trick to make the job easy. Place two 2x6 boards flat onto the body floor. Keep them out of the hopper. This allows the auger to be nearly on the same level as the hopper for easy insertion into the hopper. Now we can place the auger inside the body. Use the forklift to push the auger up against the hopper lip. Use a long pry bar to manipulate the front of the auger over the hopper lip. Push the auger into the hopper using the forklift. You may need to manually manipulate the auger the last little bit in. In part 2 we bolt the auger to the drive flange. Here is an exploded view of the auger and the drive flange. The important first step here is to first insert a bolt into this slot. There will not be room to do this when the auger is in its final place. Rotate the auger to align the bolt and pin holes to match the holes and pins on the drive flange. Once the auger is aligned with the drive flange, use a bolt and a regular non-lock nut with an impact gun to pull the auger into the drive flange. They are 1 inch bolts. When the auger is seated to the drive flange, remove the nut. Now we are ready to install the six bolts, die springs, and lock nuts. Tighten two full turns after the lock nut contacts the spring. The final step is to reinstall the hopper guard. Thank you for watching. Check out our other service videos on the New Way YouTube site.